Hello, so I'd like to share two visions with you. And the first, and both visions are around, um, well one vision is around Donald Trump and a coming war, and the other one is around chaos. So I'll hop straight into the dreams and then after that I will speak about what I think the meaning of the dreams are. So in the first dream, which came last year, on the 11th of December, I dreamt of a country club. And at the back of the country club was this beautiful balcony. And I was standing on the balcony and talking to Donald Trump. And the balcony overlooked a beautiful green field. And at the end of the field, there was a hedge of trees that separated the field that belonged to the country club and the field that was beyond the country club. So, as I was having a conversation with Donald Trump, he lifted up his hand and he pointed to the horizon. And as I looked up at his hand and towards the horizon where he was pointing, I saw a mushroom cloud, like a nuclear bomb style cloud going off in the distance. It didn't really affect us in the country club because it was far in the distance and like I said there was a hedge of protection of trees between us in the country club and what was happening in the far distance with the nuclear attack. And as I saw the cloud rising and rising into the, the Earth's atmosphere, I woke up. And that was the first dream. And the second was an audible vision that I had on the 9th of January 2022, so this year. I was sleeping and in the middle of the night at about two o'clock in the morning I woke up and I heard Russia, Russia, Russia. I was greatly disturbed by this and I distinctly recall questioning and asking God what is it about Russia like why am I receiving, you know, why am I being woken up, you know, to hearing about Russia? What is it about Russia that it is? And there was an urgency in my spirit, you know, and I wasn't really sure what to pray about. So I sat up in bed and I began interceding and I allowed the Holy Spirit to intercede for me because I wasn't really sure what to pray about Russia. Now please remember, this is prior to Russia making the mainstream media. This is prior to what's been happening with Russia and Ukraine. I didn't know any of that. Nothing of that had come to my consciousness or my awareness. So... I fell asleep after this and the next morning I awoke and after seeking the Lord he did show me that Russia is going to enter into a war. Obviously the following month in February, I can't remember the date, Russia did enter into war with Ukraine and in the preceding months from that or very shortly after that, Russia was banned from SWIFT. Now we know what importance SWIFT has in the financial arena if you've been paying attention. Now I will speak about what I think those two visions mean. Now God has not showed me this, but 
this is what I think and it is my personal opinion. I believe that chaos has to happen. A great shakening has to happen for people to wake up. And I believe that out of that chaos, a new system will be birthed. But there has to be a precipitating factor that causes that birthing period. And that's what I think. I think that Russia and war are part of those trigger points that will precipitate the birth of a new system. So I do believe that there will be coming chaos and madness. But that's not for us to be afraid as children of God, because we know that we have a hedge of protection, as the dream des described. No matter where you live in the world, there's always a hedge of protection around those that he loves. And I really do believe that this has to do with the Joseph's rising. If you've watched my previous videos on Joseph and the rise of Zath Path Benea, you will understand what I mean when I'm linking this to what's going to happen in the future. I would say pray about all these things. Sometimes when God gives us a vision, the fruit of that vision may not occur immediately. It might be in months, it might be in years. So allow yourself to be led by the Holy Spirit and have discernment about such matters. So that's what I believe is within the near future. Again, pray about it. Shabbat Shalom.